Hi everyone, it's June here and wherever you are around the world, I hope you are staying safe, staying fabulous and staying at home. I am so pleased that you are here with me today. Thank you so much and a super duper warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Guys, I really appreciate your support. I see you and uh, I just want you to know that, you know, it really means a lot that you have chosen to come on board and uh, support me on my little channel. I'm also very excited today because we have another author who will be doing a reading for us. And what's more, there will also be a giveaway. So yay! So make sure you watch right through to the end of this video, okay? Now, this lady, this multi-talented lady that I'm featuring on my episode here on the Noble channel today, I am super proud to say that she is from Malaysia um, and she's currently based in the UK. An accomplished musician, a singer, songwriter, a filmmaker. Is there anything this woman cannot do? And of course, that's, you know, that small matter of being an award-winning writer. And she's also a mom. And she's still found time to read for us. So let's get rolling. I first came across Ivy Nyao's name when she launched her book, Heart of Glass. Now, I am a huge Blondie fan, so that book title totally grabbed my attention. Ivy has written for magazines and um, broadsheets, and her many short stories have also been published in numerous anthologies. Here she is reading from her latest book, Overboard. Hi everybody, my name is Ivy Ngao. I am an author of three books and numerous short stories. I was born and raised in Johor Bahru, Malaysia. Today, I'm going to be reading from my latest novel, Overboard, which has just come out. It is the story of a white man who has been found after a shipwreck and an epic storm in Thailand. The only thing he knows is his name, and he only knows that because they tell him his name. This is a multiple viewpoint novel written in four viewpoints. Um, today, I'm going to be reading from the patient um, or the main character's viewpoint. When you open your eyes, something is in your hand. It is white. Your fingers feel the smooth, rough texture. It must be a piece of paper. You must have been gripping hard as it's crumpled now. There are green curtains around and where they part, the grey walls beyond. When you look back at your hand, it's holding the edge of a sheet, not a sheet of paper. Sheet and sheet. Well, close. Within reach is a small metal grey nightstand with wheels and a glass jam jar of orange chrysanthemums on it. Now, there's a cheerful colour, the only thing of colour, because next to the jam jar is an empty diaphanous plastic medicine cup, as small as a shot glass. On the ceiling is an arrow with a word in a scribbly script font you can't read. What's the arrow for? Where is it pointing to? Just then, there is a knock on the door and you hear voices in another language, one you're familiar with but now can't place. The door opens with a quiet click and a woman appears. She must be a nurse because she is in uniform and pushing one of those mini basket trolleys on a stand. Inside it is the stuff for taking your temperature and your blood pressure. Good afternoon. You're up. Oh, it's afternoon. You watch her. For a few minutes, you forget about your hunger. Her English is good and she's big boned. She's wearing a light blue hijab. Still from her face alone, you can see that she's in her mid to late thirties and average to not very good looking. You have a hawk eye for the ladies and can discern from a distance the appeal of a woman, hijab or no hijab. It's more a sixth sense than 2020 long-sightedness. Another thing not taken away from you. 
your eyesight. You must have been a creative and visual person and still are. Although you do not consider her attractive, she must be a damn sight more attractive than you are now. The doctor will be coming to see you in about an hour when he completes his ward round. She pushes up the trolley stand and takes your temperature and blood pressure. She makes her recordings and a note of the time on the clipboard at the end of your bed after she glances at her watch, which is safety pin to the name tag on her uniform. It is in a foreign script. You cannot read it. She picks up the empty medicine cup and leaves the room with the trolley. After she's left, you're afraid to fall asleep for fear of waking up somewhere else again. You run your tongue along your teeth and you only now become aware the gums are exposed. You feel dizzy when you shut your eyes like when you go to bed drunk and the whole room spins when your eyes are closed. The nurse returns with a tray. Dinner, she says. Look, you look at it. You know it's Thai food from the smell Fish sauce, lemongrass, garlic, ginger. It is pungent and fragrant. Your eyes water just from the smell. Coconut jasmine rice. You cannot tell what it is from its semi-solid nature. The inside of your mouth feels like a sponge. There is an intense ache when you open your jaws. It gives you a shock. You can't chew, but you are hungry. So far, so good. Outside, it is already dark. Don't worry about the time, she says. She must be an experienced mind reader. You had an accident, she says, and now you must rest. You are the luckiest man alive and eating Thai food and not paralyzed. After the sumptuous meal, you feel drowsy. Or maybe it is the medication. You want to go back to sleep. Don't fight sleep, the nurse says. It's normal to be sleepy after an accident. Some fishermen found you off the coast of southern Thailand near the port village of Lame Sak. The wires, you look at the ceiling again. The arrow and the word in the scribbly font. It's Thai. You hear a long, low sound and look up. You try to glance at the outside world through the darkened windows, though there is nothing to see. She puts the tray down and draws the curtains. It's a ship's horn. You are near the coast. She told you the name of the village, but it's now gone. The nurse pushes the meal trolley to you and set up your cutlery. She comes to the side of your head and begins to straighten the sheets. You're imagining things. You mustn't worry. She brushes back the hair from your forehead. We need to cut your hair. She looks this way and that. Side to side, like she's a hairdresser, imagining what styles would suit you. It's getting in your eyes. You feel boy again in a barber's chair. In your present state, do you actually need to be presentable? I'm finishing my shift now. I'm going home. The night shift nurse will clear your tray, do your teeth and take your blood pressure later on. You're lucky to have some teeth left. Good night. Overboard has received some great reviews and I know we could all do with some cheering up as we are mostly stuck at home these days. So I am giving away a Kindle edition of this book. Now the Kindle app is free. You can download it for yourself and that means you can read it on your mobile phone, your tablet, your computer or any of those kind of devices. You don't actually need a Kindle, okay? Now, I decided to give you a digital version of this book mainly because it can get to you quickly and safely and you do not have to collect or come into contact with any packages. 
Terms and conditions apply. My decision is final. I make up the rules. I'm sure you understand. This contest is not sponsored. It is a gift from me to one of you guys. To enter, all you have to do is make sure you like this video, drop us a comment overboard, and of course, be sure that you are subscribed to the Noble channel. Now, this contest will close at midnight on April 30th, 2020, Malaysia, Singapore time, and that's plus 8 GMT. And here's Ivy to tell you how you can connect with her. Thank you very much for listening to me reading and for watching this video. If you want to get in touch with me, please do. Here are my handles. You can get in touch with me at my website, writeyao.com or send me an email, iv underscore nyao at yahoo.com. I will always reply. You can get in touch with me and follow me on Facebook, iv nyao writer. Get in touch with me on Instagram, on Twitter. If you're curious and would like to read Overboard, it is available here. tinyurl.com slash Overboard Ivy. Until we meet again, thanks very much. Bye. Thank you Ivy for this collaboration, it has been a lot of fun and thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and please remember to take part in the giveaway. And do share this video because that would help me out so much. Now please stay home, read more, be strong, be brave and I'll see you really soon. Bye!